Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 288, unique word abbreviations. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using hash maps. The problem, um, the solution to this problem itself is relatively simple, but the problem with this problem is being able to understand it because this part is quite confusing. Um, so actually, let's jump right into the solution and I can walk you through the requirements of the problem while we are solving the question. Um, the first thing that we actually need is a hash map. And the reason why we need a hash map is because um, we need to have uh, these abbreviations stored somewhere and they need to map to something. So for example, uh, if they map to the same word, so if you see here, cake and cake, right so cake and cake actually returns true but if there are multiple instances of that so for example uh, deer and door right so in this case it returns false because they have the same abbreviation but they don't really link back to the same word so if you look at the explanation here it says returns false dictionary word deer and word deer have the same abbreviation d2r but are not the same so basically, there's a, you need to be able to track whether a given abbreviation links to a certain word or multiple words. Um, and to be able to uh, map anything, it's really good to use a hash map. So let's initialize a hash map. Um, and then let's call it string. Let's just call it map. And within um, the constructor itself, let's initialize it. Awesome. So once you have that, you want to um, somehow store all of the words in the dictionary into the hash map. So what you need is you actually need another, we, you could also do it within the method itself, but let's just call it, create another method, uh, like a private method that would create all the abbreviations for us, right? So let's say private string, let's call it get um, abbrevi abbreviation. Okay, and the thing that we actually need to take in as a parameter is a word, right? Um, and what needs to be returned here? What you need to return here is the first letter. So word dot uh, get character, character add, character add zero um, plus, you need to tell us the length, right? So let's actually get the length of the word, word dot length. Right, and uh, so that would be a string dot string dot value of an int. So that would be l minus one, and then you need to return word dot character at um, l minus one, right? But to be able to return this, you need to return it as a string. So concatenating it this way uh, would actually return a string. There, are, I'm sure there are better ways of um, concatenating it but this is like the fastest way that I could find and think of on the spot um, all right so let's look okay so the word length right here you see that it could be the smallest one that we could get is uh, the letter like it could be as small as one letter so what we need to do is that we actually need to accommodate for that so if it is one letter or two letters you can't really concatenate it because uh, as in like abbreviate it because you need to have the number of letters in between. So you would say if length is less than or equal to two, you would just return the word as is. Awesome. So once you have the word, um, let's call it A10N, which is like a perfect abbreviation from uh, here. And then let's just call it, let's just call this method on that particular word. Um, oh, we obviously need a for loop. So for string word uh, in dictionary, right? Um, we get the abbreviation of the word, and then we check. So for in, uh, sorry. So if um, map dot contains key um, a 10 n uh, so that means the abbreviation exists already but you need to check whether it's the same word or not so if uh, map dot get um, a 
10 n dot equals word so if it is the same word um, you don't really do anything but if it is not the same word you need to somehow represent that um, that it doesn't map back to the same word so uh, a potential solution for this would be actually creating a um, hash map that maps to a string to um, to a hash set which stores all the the words but the thing is we don't really care what word it is we just need a way to represent that that abbreviation links to multiple words so what you would want to do is you would just want to initialize um, like map that particular abbreviation to something that you understand that hey like th this maps to multiple words and how can you do that so you would just say map dot put a 10 n to like an empty string right um and if this does not exist if it doesn't exist you actually put it in so you would put map dot map dot put a 10 n and the word itself and the one question that you might ask is why am i checking if the same word exists already right so if this condition works right as in like if it contains shouldn't we just um add this directly it turns out when i was running the test cases there are words that are similar so one of the test cases that i ran into was one list that had a and a like the single letter um because of which the the all of the test cases did not pass so there's a reason why you need to check if that word has been seen already um if you ask me that's sort of weird for a question uh, especially because like it says that it's a dictionary that's being passed but regardless you want to make sure that your solution works so that's the reason why you need to check whether the word that you're looking at is equal to a word that's that you've seen previously um if if it is um you don't really do anything if it is not then you um put an empty string to signify that uh, it maps to multiple words, right? Um, right, so I think these two methods are good. Um, we only need to work on the is unique method. So uh, what you need to do is, let's do the same thing that we did right here, right? Let's get the abbreviation of the word that we care about, and then you need to return, uh, what do we need to return? Map dot contains key uh, a10n. Uh, so it, if it is does if it doesn't contain um, or if map dot get a ten n dot equals word. So let's check the conditions. There's no word in the dictionary whose abbreviation is the same, uh, and for any word. Uh, in the dictionary whose abbreviation is equal to the words abbreviation the word and the word are the same okay so i think that should be okay so let's try compiling it and see if it's okay uh, if the first test case looks okay let's try compiling it okay that's awesome um so everything passes uh which is awesome so let's talk about the space and the time complexity right so the space complexity for this entire solution would be o of n since we are using a hash map to store all of the words uh, the time complexity for this is unique method would be o of one since we are just looking it up in the hash map um the get abbreviation is also o of one because it's uh, this operations can be done in constant time and uh but putting all of the words in the dictionary is of time complexity o of n um yeah so that's the solution if you have any questions about this problem that i just solved please let me know in the comments below um if you want any other questions to be solved on lead code also let me know in the comments below i would be more than happy to solve them for you um thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video it definitely motivates me to make more videos um thanks so much and i'll see you all soon